I'm Margaret Ross Tolver. I'm from Gainesville, Florida. North Florida is the home of two thirds of the world's first magnitude freshwater springs. I wanted to show many facets, sort of like the five blind men and the elephant, of looking at water and being in water and thinking about water. I have projects about the aquifer of North Florida. I have projects about the sister springs in Turkey. Back behind me, images of springs at night with the light on them. It's all about being immersed in the springs and being immersed in your subject, not just looking at it, but being in it. One series in this show that I've been very excited about is called Drawn Underwater. And these are about not only being at the springs and looking at them, but this is about being in the subject. So I decided to draw underwater, letting that dictate some of the marks I make. So I took my coated zinc plates underwater and I drew as long as I could at the underwater gardens. And it changes it radically. I realized I was in another, really another planet. And I could look back from this planet of these freshwater springs, it's like being in a lens. So many experiences we have, like making art, being inspired, focusing on something, being in the zone, it really is like being in this other world. A friend named Todd Taylor, who often washes the sides of the rivers of the water with light, he outfitted a kayak with light shining in the water for me. So I'm paddling up this run that's just in a sea of blackness and I don't know what I'm looking at. This is a familiar run, and the lights start to pick out features that I know. It starts to pick out features down in the spring. It was almost like it was beginning to wake up. I see this little corner of blue, and then I see sleeping creatures of the springs. I would see giant crayfish. I saw turtles, these 40 pound giant turtles. They sleep in the head spring, and there I was discovering them in this beam of light. William Bartram wrote about the aquifer and the rivers measureless to man down to a sunless sea. This description figured in Coleridge's poem about Xanadu. So I actually live in the Xanadu and who knew it was in North Florida. To think that instead of paradise being somewhere far around the world, it's in my backyard.